Hello guys, on this video I'm going to be showing you how to um, install um, IIS on Windows 10, okay? So by default, uh, by, by default um, every Windows 10 has IIS, right? But it's just not turned on. So what, we gotta, what I'm going to show you is how to turn on IIS on Windows 10, all right? So let's go ahead and get started. Go ahead and right click. Uh, so you click the start button, hit run, type run, and write appwis.cpl, enter. So you you get, you know, you get this, you get this screen here, which is uh, your programming features. Um, you could actually go, instead of doing that, you can actually open up your control panel, go to program and features and control panel so our next next thing you're going to do is turn on you click on the left side here turn on windows features turn windows features on or off go ahead and click on it um so make sure go to internet go to internet information services let's look for it uh, there you go internet information services Um, select web management tools so as you can see here IIS management console gets selected and make sure you select IIS management service and then down here you just select this to select them all and yeah so basically all right let's let's, let's do it one more time here so you guys understand what I'm doing go to your control panel program and features turn on Windows features on or off Okay, look for international inf internet information services, which is IIS. Expand it, select it. Select uh, web management tools. Make sure you click IIS management console and IIS management service, along with uh, worldwide web web services. And go ahead and click OK. Wait for a few minutes. All right, so it's applying changes right now. All right, once that's done, go ahead and click close, close, and type here IIS. So now you have Internet Information Services Manager. Go ahead and click on it, and here, voila, you're all good to go. All right, guys, thanks for watching.